What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another player review. I would say that this has probably been my most requested player review since the eFootball 2023 update. So it is for Christopher Nakunku. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Correct me in the comments as you guys like to do. But this guy is an absolute beast, right? His stats are insane. You can train him up in multiple, multiple different ways. He's got so many player skills. He's got an excellent kind of player ID, even though player ID isn't really like the focus of eFootball football at the moment I think they will expand upon it this guy goes from an 81 attacking midfielder to a 91 attacking midfielder but you can play him on the left flank as well which is where I would recommend to play him he's 170,000 GP and he is a monster so these are his basic stats as you can see here he's got 31 levels to go he's got unwavering form he's got so many player skills double touch one touch pass He's kind of like a perfect combination that if you have different play styles and you don't want to just stick to one, like a lot of the players are shoehorned into either being a fast, kind of aggressive type dribbler with tricks and skills, such as Dembele or such as Coleman or somebody like Sterling or somebody like that. But this guy kind of can do it all. He kind of has the skills and the feet of Iniesta, um, not quite as good, but he also has the engine to be able to, you know, add something to your midfield as well if you're playing three-man midfield. And if you are playing him on the wing, uh, he is a really good option as well. Now, the one big issue I would say about him that's going to affect his rating is going to be his stamina, which even when you upgrade the stamina, and we're over on eFootballDB.com here, looking at his basic card, right? So he has 60 progression points. We're going to go 31 levels, and we are going to try and get up his stamina, his dribbling, and his speed, because I want to play him as a winger. But I also want him to be able to bring others into the into the game. That if I want to switch him with a sub tactic, if I want to switch him with on the fly formation changes or tactical changes, or even as an instant kind of like a bit of speed coming on, that's not just a speed freak. I think when people see Mbappe or Kingsley Coleman on the wing or Sane or somebody like Mane or somebody like that, they kind of know what you're going to try to do with them. Whereas uh, Nakunku is kind of a player that you can play him in you know a lot of different ways. So when I'm training him up here, I still do think that his stamina is an issue you don't need lofted pass too much we don't need finishing we have we are going to have strikers for that but getting his stamina up as best as we possibly can it's still going to be a bit of a concern so i think that this guy is more like a 70 minute uh, player thankfully his stamina isn't going to be massively a concern because obviously the stamina system is a little bit broken i would say at the moment that you can just chase and harry and you know be super aggressive all the time but i think what really i've found from playing like literally i played about 10 12 games online testing the kunku out just to get a feel for him you know what i mean to get a proper feel for him he doesn't score a lot of goals but he brings in a lot of players into it now he does make mistakes you're going to have mistakes with him that was user error there and it's more about kind of getting back on those mistakes and building from the attack again as i've said he does remind me a little bit like of Iniesta when he has the ball at his feet. He's very quick. He's, you know, got really low center of gravity that he seems to be able to maintain and retain the ball extremely well. And when you bring him into the play, when he gets the ball here in the middle of the pitch, he has got the range of ability to be able to pass the ball, spray the ball around. But look at the run he makes here to give me the option. That is totally AI uh, helping me out with that run, gets in, and we nearly get a really good chance out of that. But again, his offensive awareness, even though it's quite low compared to some other players, is excellent. And look at the positions that he takes up on the pitch. I mean, I'm playing him attacking midfielder, but he's just springing up everywhere. And he's able to use the ball. He's able to get back and help on defense. If you are playing a 4-3-3, he is excellent as kind of like a Barcelona type player. He does have some nice shooting ability as well, but he's not going to be finishing every chance for you. Now you'll see here in the 42nd minute, lads, look at the stamina. This is a big issue, especially if you do a lot of dribbling with him, but he retains the ball excellent, gives a lovely pass here. And again, he spins away, gets the ball out, gets unlucky, going to fight to get it back off Haaland, pushes him out of the way, gets it back. So there is a bit of fight in him. There is a bit of bottle in him. And I do think that he is one of the better players that they've added in the last update. He picks up positions excellent like you'll see him taking this role here it looks simple but again when you're actually mixing up your play you need players that are able to play in different ways you can't you know if you have if you have two wingers that are just excellent speed freaks with really good dribbling but they're not able to pass the ball you can come unst unstuck sometimes so i think nakunku this is just a chance i just left in lads sorry i don't know why i left that in I meant to take it out with Levy Lewandowski uh, for a future video maybe. But yeah, as I said, we are going to do the live training here. So a lot of those clips that you saw would have been when he was at standard. So he's at 81 overall. So his stamina would have been really, really low. That's how many progression points he takes. It's, it's a lot, right? It's a lot to invest into him. 
like you're talking about a good couple of thousand there because he does have 31 levels to go but I do genuinely think for an 81 attacking midfielder with the player skills he has and to be able to boost him to 91 overall when we do train him I'm just going to show you guys how I did train him so I simulated it first on eFootballDB.com at the start of the video now we're just going to put that in I'm also going to give him a couple out wide as well just to bring his proficiency up and just be able to have him more in tune with my squad and more in tune with my manager but let me know what you guys think of him as I said I've tested him out didn't score too many goals with him but if you are looking for a fairly cheap player that is kind of a game changer, whether you bring him on in the 70th minute, he doesn't have super sub, but if you bring him on in the 70th minute, lads, you are going to get an instant kind of injection of passing, pace, power, and he's able to help out in midfield as well. He kind of does remind me of Pedri, but he's not quite as good as Pedri, in my opinion. I think for the way I play... Um, I just love using him. I just loved using him. Even though he wasn't the most impactful player on my squad, you look at those stats that he has there as a 91 overall attacking midfielder. Absolutely incredible. So he does fit into the, to the squad quite well there. But again, I've been very happy with him. I've been very happy using him. And I've been very happy just being able to kind of link up to play with him. But it's his runs off the ball, I'd say, are probably the most impactful. And he's just been able to touch it and go. And even when he loses the ball, he still seems seems to have this kind of magnetism around him he's able to shoot he obviously gets into those pockets of space and as I said he does remind me of kind of Iniesta Pedri with his low body uh low gravity and then um being able to get back on attack as well so just leaving a couple of clips in here as well lads as he uh, as he watch the end of this video but my rating I would have to say for uh, Nakunku is based on how I play and how you want to play him I would definitely recommend leaving him as an AMF but similarly, picking up in these positions, like look at the run he's making there. Look at the run. Like it's a brilliant run. And then when the ball doesn't break down, he's back out again looking for it. Do you see that? He's back out looking for it. I don't even need to pass it to him. It's just a lovely move in. But it's the pace and the space off the ball that he's doing. So I definitely recommend him. I think he's an absolute beast. And depending on your skill level, he can be an absolute beast for you. But again, there is some good alternatives there for a little bit cheaper. I would say look at Sergio Canales. Not obviously as good dribbling wise and doesn't have that pop to him when you get the ball at his feet but I still think he is definitely worth his 8 out of 10 rating so let me know if you agree or disagree lads let me know if it should be higher or lower let me know if you test him out yourselves I will talk to you later peace